women ask me all the time if it is safe to use cannabis when they are pregnant. I always refer people to their medical care provider for obvious reasons when I get this question and I certainly recommend that that be your, your first stop with this topic um, and not just start smoking or taking edibles to, <laughs> just after seeing this video or listening to this episode. But I, I thought it could be an interesting topic to explore here. So first I'll note that more and more people have been using cannabis during pregnancy and when breastfeeding. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's safe, it just means that it has become more common. And a primary reason that pregnant people use cannabis is for nausea. And there have also been reports of pregnant people who could only keep food down after vaping or ingesting cannabis. This is also a major reason that cancer patients use cannabis to, to manage nausea, to have an appetite so they can continue to eat. And some pregnant people, breastfeeding parents, they also use cannabis, you know, to treat, to manage pain, insomnia, anxiety, all of the things that people typically use cannabis for, right? But all of those issues can be exaggerated during pregnancy and especially in that first, first year postpartum. And, you know, I would be remiss if I did not mention that there have been, you know, cases of mothers being placed on their state's child abuse registry when their infants tested positive for cannabis, even when their babies had no other health conditions. Um, but there are states like New York, Texas, New Mexico that have actually passed laws separating child abuse from cannabis use, which in my opinion is great. Um, and in addition, women of color are often more targeted by child protective services than white women, and obviously unfairly so. So regarding the physical effects of cannabis on the baby, the tricky thing with all of this is that there really hasn't been enough research on the effects of cannabis use during pregnancy and breastfeeding on the babies to really make any conclusive statements about the safety of this practice. But this hasn't stopped pregnant people from doing it anyways. So for example, cannabis use in pregnant people increased by 25% during the pandemic. And you know, many more pregnant people probably used cannabis, but didn't feel safe to, to admit that. Um, it's also important to note that not many medications have been extensively tested on pregnant and breastfeeding people because researchers are hesitant to expose babies to anything that, that could cause harm. However, there was one study, one study on cannabis use during pregnancy that, that found that potentially this use could make a child more prone to experience anxiety later in life. A part of the issue is, is that today's cannabis is really, really strong and it can throw off the endocannabinoid system, which is really essential to delicate operations like, like growing a brain, for example. Um, it, can, it can throw that system out of whack. But it's also believed that any anxiety is issues cannabis potentially causes in the child could likely be, you know, mitigated or even reversed by influences in the child's home or school environment. And regarding cannabis use during breastfeeding, you know, researchers believe that the benefits of breastfeeding typically outweigh the potential risk on the baby, but but they still acknowledge that again, we just don't know exactly how cannabinoids like THC and CBD affect babies, you know, through the breast milk. 
we do know, we do know that they can cross into the milk and are soluble in fat. So, so the baby is definitely getting exposed. And so this is all to say that it's really complicated, right? I, I hope you're not feeling too frustrated by my answer. Um, because again, the gist is really that we just don't know enough to make a conclusive statement. Um, but I will say, you know, if breastfeeding people do opt to use cannabis, it's really best to only use products from known sources, really carefully monitor the dose that somebody is taking, um, certainly go outdoors if you're actually smoking, and you also want to ideally change your clothes after smoking so the baby is not exposed to it at all, um, and definitely wash your hands immediately afterwards. But I want to state again that this really is a decision that, that needs to be made with a care provider, a medical care provider that is really the best person usually to help somebody weigh the potential risks and rewards based on somebody's unique medical circumstances. And I also want to note that you might be saying, okay, well, I feel highly uncomfortable discussing this topic with my care provider or my baby's pediatrician. I I get that and you are are not alone. So if this is something that you're really passionate about exploring, you really think that it could benefit you, um, but you don't trust that you can discuss this with your care provider without them, you know, really judging you or just immediately shutting you down, not even having a conversation about it, you might want to consider finding a new, potentially more progressive care provider, which I know is not a small ask. That takes a lot of time and effort, but that really is the one potential solution if you feel like your care provider, your current care provider would not be open to this conversation. Um, and many people are pushing for a shift in prenatal care that involves care providers discussing cannabis use with all patients, as, as this could likely inspire you know, more transparency between the patient and the doctor and help ensure that, that pregnant people receive more accurate information about prenatal cannabis use. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to pregnancy, childbirth, early motherhood, please let me know in the comments below.